Okay, man. I don't even know where to start. First, I'm gonna start by taking off these glasses because they're gonna disrespect me. I'm pretty sure this entire video, if it gets too horrible and if I feel like I'm squinting a lot, I might put them back on. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave those off. Okay, first of all, I'm being rude because don't think I didn't notice all the new subscribers that then found their way to my channel that I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and welcome all of our new Battle Bays to Battle Bay Nation. And let me go ahead and introduce myself. <coughs> Hi Battle Bays and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a sergeant in the United States Army. So for those of you who are new and for those of you who just don't know, I am currently a 74 Delta, a chemical soldier, Seaburn, and I'm reclassing to 68 Charlie, which is an Army LPN. So in this video, I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna turn into. At this point, I don't know what any of my videos are going to turn into because they're just so up in the air, but I kind of wanted to give a little bit of expl explanation? explanation on where I've been for the past like two months. I haven't uploaded anything in two months, even though I said in one of my previous videos that I was going to be more consistent. I was going to be uploading all these videos. I was going to be talking about the 68 Charlie course, putting out the information and stuff like that. And then I kind of posted a few videos and then just that was it. I can honestly say I didn't mean to completely go MIA. I just had really good reason and part of that is just life, honestly. I'm pretty sure for the year of 2020, everybody, and when I say everybody, I think everybody felt this year in one way or another. For me, I definitely felt it, okay? Me personally, I just, I just wanted to start start over either be done with the year or just let's let's <laughs> let's just start from scratch let's unplug it and plug it back in and see if it works just a little bit better the problem is i just i tried filming this video a few different times and i don't know i don't know how to explain myself you know i never I never had to do that before. I don't feel like, no, I don't feel like I need to. I understand that I don't need to because I'm gonna have a few of my subscribers, of course, saying that I don't have to explain myself. But honestly, um, I don't think it's explaining myself because you see, I've been going through some things and I just wanna talk about it. That's one thing that I just haven't been able to do. I would try to like vent to people and instead of just listening, just, just let me get it off my chest. I'm, I somehow always end up talking to people who are just fix it people. That's, you know, cut me off. It's like, be quiet for a second. I'm going through something and I just want to talk about it. Just, just let me talk about it. So, since I know y'all let me talk about it, <laughs> I'm here to talk. So for this video, I actually didn't plan anything. You guys know I always have a notebook and I wrote down my bullet points of the stuff that I kind of want to hit on. That way I can make it short and sweet. Nah. Uh -uh. I didn't do that for this video so I'm gonna try my hardest not to make it too long I'm gonna try not to rant too much it's just I really wanted to talk I really wanted to just just I don't know maybe just talk about some stuff that I've been going through you know just get it out there yeah that's about it so let's go ahead and get into um where in the world I've been <laughs> coming to San Antonio was supposed to have been my next level up but that turned out not to be the case at all. And I know I showed just a little bit of my frustration in some of my previous videos, but that didn't even scratch the surface. Just to back up a little bit, a few of you do know that I struggle with my financial stability, my mental stability, just my overall stability and livelihood. And they just, my life was in shambles, okay? Just a few short years ago, my life was in shambles. Even, even before I came into the military, my life was in shambles and I started getting it together just a little bit before I joined. So I joined in a pretty good place, but a year prior to joining, I was actually homeless with my son. After having to go through that experience, I vowed that I would never get to that place in my life ever again. I spent the past, I wanna say the past three years building myself back up from that. And so I was working on my credit, I was working on my body, I was working on my financial 
literacy. I, I did all of that stuff and I was really disciplined and I built myself up to a place where I was actually really proud. I was in a place where I had a beautiful credit score. I almost hit the 800s, didn't quite make it, but I almost hit the 800s. I built my savings up to, uh, at that time, I thought it was a decent amount. So in that time, I thought, I'm like, oh man, I got all this money in my savings account. I got this money in my checkings account. I still got this money coming in. I got this bomb credit score. You know, I didn't have any real debt besides my car and then I was able to buy a house so I bought my first house and that was just something that was really surreal to me because at a point in my life I thought buying a house whether or not it was a two bedroom whether or not it was a mansion I thought for me buying a house was just a fantasy I thought that that was never something in life that I would be able to do and you know I purchased my first home not too soon after I purchased my second car because as you all know with me being a single parent I often have my I recruit some of my siblings to come and live with me and I just wanted a way from them for them to get around with the kids and stuff like that and so I'm like all right let me go ahead and buy another car real quick just so you know it'll be there it'll be there for them when they need it right I was able to take my kids out get them what they wanted do what they wanted you know I was just able to show them a different even though it wasn't super luxurious or anything like that you know I was able to show them things that I, I didn't see you know even as small as it was I was able to do these things for myself and my kids and my family that I never thought I would be in a position like just sending my mom money to get her nails and stuff done sending my grandmother and my aunts money so they can go out to the boat or play bingo do whatever it is they want to do send gifts home and send money to my dad and every time anybody would call and they would ask for something I had it you know I thought that me coming to San Antonio I had everything planned out I'm a planner that's what I do I where's my okay let me show you so I showed you guys this notebook not too long ago I when I first got it yes this bad boy still rocking with me I do have plenty of more plenty more can't talk today I do have plenty more but this one is the one that's been rocking with me right so I am a planner and so I have a bunch of these notebooks a bunch of these notebooks I'll show you guys all my notebooks at some point but this is the one that has really been um keeping me sane okay I tell people all the time if I don't if you don't see me with a notebook I'm probably losing my mind because at that point I just don't know what direction I'm going in I, if I stop writing things down that means I, I I just lost it and I need to recoup okay <laughs> I plan and hopefully I don't want y'all to see too much but um I plan this is it says my plan for this contract what I started doing is I stopped making New Year's resolutions. I just started basing my plans and things like that based off my contract because the Army is really important to me. I love what I do. I love my career. And so I want my goals to align with my career because I want everything to work in sync. I don't want to have to sacrifice my career, the quality of my career, and the effort I get there with my education, with my finances, anything. So what I started doing is I started basing my goals around my army career my educational goals i want those to line up with what it is that i want to achieve in the army as well i have everything written down here like my entire plan and so what i did is i just put little goals here i got to mark off my get promoted um and it's it's not it's, and it's not all big goals like in here i have getting my braces off and whitening my teeth simple stuff like that like they're little tiny goals in here along with really big goals like graduate 68 Charlie school pass the NCLEX get an overseas assignment because I haven't been anywhere these are things that I just want to accomplish growing my hair um, to bra strap length we gonna see <laughs> okay you know I'm I'm getting somewhere though I'm getting somewhere so maybe maybe these are my goals these are the things that I want to achieve I'm showing you guys this because I want you to see how much I had planned I guess it's not no way I want how motivated I guess I was I, I just wanted you guys to see the plans how the, the, the standard I guess that's how I want to put it the standard that I had set for myself I just wanted you guys to see that and to have everything just crumble so quick I worked for years I told you guys um over three years working my way up to be where I was at only to come here and see everything completely just crumble 
and fall down within a matter of a few months let's talk about depression okay let's talk about falling into a real deep depression i really felt depressed and i felt trapped and i just couldn't believe that that happened so this started before i even got here you guys saw the rant that i put on about the child care and not knowing what's about to be what how things are going yeah that's honestly where it started because I felt like if I would have gotten some of the answers there, I could have avoided some of the stuff that I had to go through once I got here. Childcare is a real thing and real quick, this is kind of off topic, but I actually had a first sergeant try to have my YouTube channel taken down because I mentioned some of the flaws that's in this program when it comes to childcare and things of that nature because when I got here, I, I, I I expressed so many times that childcare is an issue. Like this is a this is a real problem. Like this is a setup. Honestly, in my mind, in my opinion, I thought it was a setup because you're bringing people out here. You're telling them they can come out here. You're telling them to bring their families and their their kids and things like that. But the resources aren't there. I don't know. To me, that sounds kind of like a setup. So. One of my friends actually got chapter eight out of the army because of the way they're doing the child at that time the way they were doing child care with covid we just didn't have child care she actually is no longer in the army i'm talking about an nco these are ncos being handled in this manner you know and so i was in that exact same boat i had another friend another e5 in that exact same situation but before they can get their claws in her she decided to just leave the program. Because of that, I had, because I mentioned these things, I had a first sergeant trying to have my channel taken down. Of course it didn't happen, I'm still here, I still love you guys. But yeah, these are the things, these are some of the things that kind of put me off of doing anything, honestly. Anyway, to get back on track, once I got here, because of the childcare issues, I had my little sister come to live with me here. She was here with me to take care of the kids during PT hours because that was our that was our that was our deal. She would be here to take care of the kids during PT hours because they don't offer childcare during PT hours. And because she was living with me, I couldn't get an apartment on post. So that's where the spending money started because then I had to go off post in order to get a place for us to live. Of course, once we're in deposits and all that stuff, I wasn't expecting to pay that at all. So so it was just really frustrating. Like just from from off from jump from jump it was just really frustrating then somehow my car ended up breaking down it didn't break down is the ac has stopped working being in south texas oh you need an ac when i say my car was so hot even with all the windows down me driving it was still too hot to put my kids in this car i just know i needed it fixed because i need to go back and forth to work i need ways to transport my kids i just needed something so after paying that thousand dollars to get my car a tire blew out that was like 265 dollars then i ended up getting another tire blowout i kept getting nails in my tires like like i have a nail in my tire right now a brand new tire that i just bought like less than a month ago i have another nail in that tire how is this that was just more money now when it came to the whole child care thing because i wasn't able to get child care on post i paid for child care for a few weeks off post. And when I say I thought childcare on post was expensive, I paid so much money. I wanna say in a matter of two weeks, I paid like $1,400. This going all over the place. COVID had already happened, but I really wasn't affected by it until the renters that was renting my house back in Georgia got laid off because they were waitresses. So when they started closing all the businesses and stuff like that and everybody's getting laid off, I was stuck paying my $13.85 in rent on top of $11.30 in a mortgage. I was stuck paying that for like three months. After all that was said and done, I had the issue with my rank. Came up on the list, got promoted, only to be demoted. Then I got promoted again, only to be demoted again. And at this point, nobody was really explaining anything to me. Nobody can tell me why this was happening. I felt, honestly, in first phase, they didn't care. I won't, I, I'm, I won't even hold you. They did not care at all. They just said, oh, you're supposed to get promoted. Oh, you made the list. Oh, you got demoted. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Ain't my problem. That was literally all but one drill sergeant's attitude one drill sergeant 
and I want to say like two instructors everybody else did not care did they didn't even care I honestly felt betrayed and that's when I started losing a lot of my motivation because I'm like I'm thinking to myself I worked so hard to get where I am you know I worked hard for that rank I did what I needed to do and you just gonna take it from me all based off the of technicality of the MOS so these prerequisites of this program trumps my entire contract that's what I'm not understanding it was so frustrating because they all they kept saying was oh well it was a mistake or somebody didn't do something right or somebody didn't follow right so you mean to tell me my commander didn't catch it my retention NCO didn't catch it when you sent it up through that chain nobody in that chain caught it big army didn't catch it and now that I'm here and I did what I needed to do and I'm eligible for my promotion I made my points I made the list now everybody want to catch it really that was my first look into wow this is this is crazy I don't know how to explain this because my thing is I'm I'm, I'm real I really am pro army I love what I do I love my job but when I started seeing all this stuff happening the way the army can really mess you over like the way things some things go in the army can really mess you over I'm like I don't know what to say I don't honestly I don't even know I don't know I'm not trying to say I'm not trying to say too much because I don't want anybody to try to come from my channel but I mean this is stuff this is this is real life stuff that people go through you know after that oh, so after that I did have an issue with getting my tenants out of my house and so that was a whole big emotional thing for me and it was money just money and it's just it's, it's always something that's that's done and over with now me now getting my house I still have to figure out when I'm able to go out to Georgia to look at it to clean it up to turn it over to the property managers to, managers to get it back rented out I'm still in a process of you know trying to figure all that stuff out but it's just a it's just a process like a lot of this stuff was like a lot of this stuff was process going through a lot of this stuff I just felt crappy like I really felt like crap and then it's just the realization of I thought that this year was going to be the year I was able to see my family again that was a big thing as well that was another thing like I haven't the last time I seen my family the last time I seen my family 2017 Thanksgiving is when I last saw my family I can't tell you when's the last time I saw my mom or my dad they haven't even met Mia yet and she's three you know these past few years it's just it's just been a lot it's just, it's just been a lot and I thought that this year was going to be the year that I finally was stable enough and financially back secure enough to do these things and go and finally see my family and the realization that that just didn't happen and it's probably not going to happen you know so <sighs> that's hard but but it's fine it's fine where am i going to go from here i honestly don't know yet just continue with this continue with my plan just being patient being resilient there's nothing really i can do when i think about it a lot of the stuff that I go through now yeah it was big then when I was throwing out thousands of dollars here and there but now it's just so it's gone the money's gone what do you do now figure out a way to make it back so that's what I'm doing all right so that's all I had for this video I hope it wasn't too all over the place like I said I did not plan this video it's that dust I did not plan this video at all so hopefully it wasn't too long to crazy like I don't know maybe it was kind of spotty because everything has just been a blur this year but just bear with me y'all <laughs> bear with me if you have any questions go ahead and leave those down below don't forget to like comment subscribe go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video all right see ya